We're gonna redraw four out of each. Everybody's gonna qualify right now. 6,200 chip, 2,350 on the weight. Open shot, open. I've officially upgraded to chauffeur. Let's see how long I last. I just started calling drivers to the track to run it in. Now I'm going to sit by the skills in this rickety old chair. Hopefully it holds me. We're good. <laughs> from Georgetown last night at 2 in the morning, finished my video at 3 in the morning. Uh, my alarm went off at 6.30 to make a couple phone calls at 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday. And then I think my alarm went off a little after 8. Yeah, I'm back at the shop again for some more fun. So uh, all hands are on deck right now to hopefully get this car fixed and get Dad to Bridgeport tonight. Aww. Watching my nephew clean and fix the car. <laughs>
out. 10 to 1, body is on. Oh, I'm dirty. <laughs> and we're still working, and luckily, we just got some more hands. Even Mike showed up to help. He's a keeper. So it's almost two o'clock. They are just about done scaling the car and I am extremely excited and beyond surprised to say that Dad's gonna be able to race Bridgeport tonight. I honestly did not think this was gonna happen. She definitely is not the prettiest looking car right now, but the determination, it's impressive. You know, put your mind to it and we got it done. Okay, so all is good in the world once again. Um, only problem, guys, I have is that Billy's racing New Egypt, <laughs> Dad's racing Bridgeport, and Mike is racing Grandia. <sighs> I really hate this kind of stuff, guys. I'm like torn. I got three different places to go in one night, and I really don't like it. But of course, gonna go and support Mike Grandview. Got Michelle and the baby going to New Egypt. They're gonna keep me posted. Mom's going to Bridgeport. Oh, Dad's waving. <laughs> Dad's in a good mood. Huh, told you, all's good in the world again. 25 laps for the Spirit Auto Center. Big block modifieds. Points, season points opener here. Cinco de Mayo, Derby Day. Spirit Auto Center, big block modified points chase is officially underway down the backstretch. Richie Pratt Jr. grabs the early lead. Neil Williams up to second. Hendrickson falls back to third, and we've got a couple of cars slowing down the backstretch, and that will bring out the yellow. Caution lights are up. We've got to start. Here's the green. We're racing. Spirit Auto Center, big block modified, 25 lap features underway. Challenge for second, Williams. Ryan Watt gets bottled up down the backstretch. He'll lose some ground. Billy the Kid Pouch on the outside started this one in sixth. And lap number one, he'll go to fourth. Watt working on the top five, side by side into the corner. Here comes Watt on the outside of Lawbach. Pratt still your leader. Hendrickson, we've got one side, ladies in three and four. I believe that's the 31 of Tommy Beamer. Four down, 21 to go. We're back underway. Neil Williams getting a great restart on the bottom side. Hendrickson gets too high and one and two. Pouch slips underneath of him. So does Watt. Watt's up to fourth. Pouch is up to third. Richie Pratt still leading the way. Here comes Lawbach now. Lawbach trying to close in. He wants to get by Hendrickson. Side by side for fifth. Lawbach will move into the top five. Side by side into turn number one for the lead. Watt gets way too high up in the loose stuff. Watt's going to lose the spot. Still side by side for the lead down the back stretch. The kid and Richie Pratt Jr. going at it. The 28 and the one out of turn number four. Pratt's lining up the racetrack. Billy Pouch is your new leader. Meanwhile, Watt's got that spot back. He'll slip by Rick Lawbach. Now Watt going to the bottom of order two. Trying to get underneath Neil Williams. Here comes flying Ryan Watt. Side by side for third. Keep an eye on the modified rookie Roger Manning. He's up to sixth. Watt's up to third and we've got a yellow. Green flags out, we're back underway. Billy Pouch grabbing the lead. Here comes Williams on the bottom side. Neil Williams up to second. He'll take it away from Richie Pratt Jr. down the backstretch. We've got one slowing in turn number two. Car pulling off, I believe. That was Jack Swain, but it's Pouch leading the way. Watt now closing in on Richie Pratt Jr. All time of action up front. Here 
Here comes Watt on the bottom side. Pratt tries the top through one and two. Here comes Watty. He'll squeeze up, squeeze him off and move to third. Brian Watt, he's had some charges. They've been stalled by the yellow flags, trying to get to second. Pouch trying to run away and hide. Roddy and Williams going at it for second. Nose to tail, they run for the top spot. Pouch up to the middle and one and two. Watt's got the preferred groove on the bottom. Side by side, down the backstretch. Pouch will hold him off for now. They're going to come to 10 to go this time by. Can Pouch hold him off? Pouch will stay to the bottom, but he's slipping up out of the corner. So does Watt. Pouch is going to pull him down the front stretch, and we've got a another yellow 14 down 11 to go the kid and the electric company of front row then williams and pratt Britt and lawbach beamer and kell hunt and tittle were underway Billy Pouch again will take the lead in, down into turn number one. Williams challenging Watt. Watt will pull him down the backstretch. Jim Britz climbed up to fourth. Richie Pratt holding off Rick Lawbach as they battle for fifth. Watt will go high in three and four and try and get some bite down the front stretch. Ten to go this time by for Billy Pouch. Seven laps to go. The count down is on. Pouch trying desperately to pull away from Ryan Watt. It certainly looks like he had Watt back in. Trying to pull away from Watt. Watt gets a good run through one and two. Trying to close in as they work down the backstretch. All eyes up front. One of the best to ever do it in a modified. Versus a young man trying to make his name in the sport. Watt starting to reel him in now. Looks like Watty's been better on the long runs and he's starting to close in. Six laps to go. The lead is shrinking as they work down the backstretch. Billy Pouch looking to shut the door on history as they work out of turn number two. Final lap here in our Spirit Auto Center. Big block modified feature. Ryan Watt was on the quest for six in a row. But Billy Pouch will shut the door on history. Pouch picks up the win. You appear to be a little bit emotional about this one. Uh, what 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 is it about this one that means so much to you? Well, we went winless for a year, you know. You start doubting your abilities, it's tough. And uh, I just, I'm thankful I got a good car. Guys, really crying right now. Gather it together, Mandy. Dad just won Bridgeport. Oh my God. Oh, this morning was so worth it. Oh. <laughs> Craig. Oh my God. Breathe, breathe. Yes, that one. So, thank you, huge thank you to Tori. She faced on me in the last couple laps. Let me watch Dad win the feature. Pulled away from Ryan Watt. Started, I think I told you guys, started six, pulled away, won it. I'm probably gonna keep repeating myself because I'm so overwhelmed right now. Probably looking like a mess. I might grab you, which really stinks. But yes, so anyways, Tori FaceTimes me and she even brought me into Victor Lane. And let me congratulate Dad when he's getting out of the car. He said, Donuts, got in the car. I'm so overwhelmed right now. Huh. You know what? Racing, guys, it has serious highs and it has its lows. But whole, oh my God. I'm so happy right now. So we got our food from McDonald's yeah. here. Okay, so anyway, so Dad won. Amazing. Won at Bridgeport. Yes. And apparently it was his 60th win at Bridgeport, which I also did not know. That's awesome. I don't know how to get out of here. I'll just park for right now. <laughs> um, by the way, guys, you know how I told you this morning that I made a couple uh, phone calls at 6.30? Here's one of them. Not only did she call me at 6.30, she called me at 12.30 last night. When I was planning on leaving at maybe noon to come down here to race Grandview, she's like, hey... Could you get up at 6.30 and uh, come help fix my dad's car? Now, meanwhile, I had some shocks to do in the morning and some other things to kind of finish up. It's 12.30 night. I was not going to go back out and finish that stuff up. So I went to bed and got up at 6.30 and finished my stuff and ended up leaving at like 9. And I got there kind of late because they already had the car pretty much fixed. But, still but it, it was impressive. They probably... Um, in a matter of two and a half hours, they had that car back on the scales uh, from 
the night before it was ugly. Yeah, it was bad. And really then bad. to go out and win with that car, that's impressive. After th you know slapping it back together like that, and not only win, but but he beat Ryan Watt, who's been dominating on the big track at Bridgeport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you know as impressive. of late. So, um, but that's great. I kind of want to close out um, with what Dad said. You know, he went a year without winning, and that's it's a long time for it's for a guy that's got seven eight hundred wins yeah. in his career which it kind of explains why i was crying um so he went a year winless and after last night i was talking well i was talking to him on the phone prior to this and i told him i'm like you know i honestly didn't think it was possible to get that car back together and actually win tonight and what he said is it's easier just to give up right and you know what <laughs> Won. It is easier to give up, but but for the for the two of you on the ride home to discuss it and decide, no, we're not going to give up. We're going to fix it. Yeah. And go tomorrow. That just shows a lot of determination, and um, you know, proud of you, proud of you both for that.